Hi, my name is Romy. I'm the Project and Policy Development Coordinator at the Law Society of Nunavut. I've been working for the Law Society for over a year and a half now, but I recently graduated from law school as well. In this video, we will go through the steps of the admission process in order to become a student at law in Nunavut. I know that this process can be both overwhelming and stressful. So I hope that this video will make the process a bit easier for you. Don't forget to look at the PDF, which is also on our website, and that retakes all of those steps. If you have any preoccupations, don't hesitate to email us at administrator at lawsociety.nu.ca. Okay, so let's start um, by looking at the Law Society of Nunavut website. So you arrive right here. All documentations to be submitted online are under the tab Students at Law, Admission as a Student at Law. Everything you will need is right here. So now let's look at the very first step to uh, submit the consent form. All documentation will be submitted electronically. Therefore, even before starting your online application, it is essential that you submit your electronic signature consent form. You will find the consent form under required documents. And then you will see that there are two consent forms. There is one for a student at law and there is one for principal. So make sure uh, you choose the right one. So once you have completed your consent form, you can send it by email to the Allison administrator. As soon as the administrator receives your completed consent form, they will send you a temporary password that will allow you to log in um, and complete your online application. The second step, even before logging in with your temporary password into your online application, is to provide the Law Society of Nunavut with a government issued ID with picture. So that can be your driver license, health card, uh, general identification card, your passport. To do so, you have two options. Option number one is to come physically to the Law Society of Nunavut office with the original um, identification document. The LSA administrator will make a copy of that document themselves. Option number two is to send a notarized copy by mail. You will find the complete address of the Law Society of Nunavut on our website under contact, uh, the contact tab. As part of your online application, you will need to submit some documents. I invite you to prepare those documents in advance that will make your application easier. Once again, everything is under admission as a student at law. The first one you will need to submit is a copy of your degree or an official transcript. Please be sure to have that prepared. You will also need to submit two letters of good character. You have here the template and you have all the information uh, to help you decide who you ask um, to complete the letters of good character. You will also need to inform the Law Society um, of your preferred method of payment for the application and admission fees. To do that, you have four methods of payment for you to choose from. The first method is to pay by check payable to the Law Society of Nunavut. Please note that as part of your online application, you will have to provide the check number. Uh, the second method is to pay by electronic money transfer to the LSN administrator. The third method is to pay by in-person direct deposit. And then the fourth uh, method is to provide the name of your employer um, if your employer will pay for the fees. 
Uh, finally, please make sure that you have the correct amount for the application and the admission fees. You will find all the information you need under uh, the tab fees and payments. Once again, in the menu admission as a student at law. Okay, so now that you have prepared your documents and you have decided your preferred method of payment, you can now use your temporary password that the LSN administrator sent you by email when you send um, your consent form. So what you will do is log in. You will use your email address um, with which you email the LSN administrator and use your temporary password. So you now arrive here, which is your dashboard. So please be sure that you read carefully all the instructions here. You can also um, update your password to something that you will remember. And if you click here, you will arrive to your student online application. So without going into too much detail, um, you will complete parts A, B, and C, which is all the information, uh, your personal and professional information. Um, for question um, three to six, please know that if you say yes uh, to any of those questions, you will be asked to provide more details. Um, okay, so now question number seven, this is where you will upload the documents that you prepared in advance, which is um, which are the two letters of good character and your copy of a uh, copy of degree or your official transcript. Um, now you arrive in a section that is called document from the principal. Just like the note is saying, you will not have to upload any document here, which is the student articling plan. We will come back to this, but you don't have to upload any document. When, um, when you and your principal will have signed the document, it's the LSM administrator that will upload the final version of your student articling plan. After that, you have this section that is called other documents for articling. Um, that section has two documents, which are um, assignment of articles of clerkship and then transfer of articles. Those two, um, some of you will not have to, uh, to complete those at any point during your articles. But if you do have to amend your articles, you can always come back to your online application and submit those documents. You will find the template um, of the assignment of articles of clerkship and transfer of articles. Once again, everything um, is under students at law, admission as a student at law and then you can choose required document. Um, and then you arrive at payment information. Once again, please be sure to look at the fees and payment uh, section um, under admission as a student at law to be sure that you have the, uh, the correct amount. And then you can choose one of the four options that we covered together earlier. So if I want to pay by check, um, I put the correct amount here and then the check number. So that's it for part C. You now arrive at part D, which is a really important section. Um, please read carefully those two statements. Um, the second um, statement refers you to the code of conduct. You can simply click on code of conduct and then you arrive to the code from the law society of Nunavut. Once you have read and um, um, understood the two statements, you can uh, check the boxes. You arrive at the final part, which is part E and concerns articles of clerkship. Just like I said, for the student articling plan, you will not have to upload anything here either. Um, so that will be step five 
we will uh, complete articles of clerkship through a third party platform that is DocuSign. So once you and your principal have signed the articles of clerkship through DocuSign, the LSN administrator will upload the final version here. Um, so that's it for the uh, online application. So here you have two options to save your online application. If you want to um, save it um, and come back to it later, you say you can save it as draft. So the Law Society uh, of Nunavut administrator will not review it. Once you're done, you have all the documents uploaded, your, um, all the information is there. You can save it as ready to publish. On, only then um, the LSN administrator will review your online application and you can save. Within a week after you saved your online application as ready to publish, you should re receive an email like this. So this email refers you to the articles of clerkship to be completed and signed through the third party platform that we mentioned, which is DocuSign. So to have access to that platform and to the articles of clerkship, you simply have to um, click on review document. So you will now arrive um, on the platform of DocuSign. So when it is your first time coming into the platform, they will ask you to, um, to read through their policies and agree to um, the policies. You can simply say continue. You will now arrive to your document, which is articles of clerkship. So it is pretty straight uh, forward how to complete the document through um, the third party platform. You simply have to um, complete, well, to put the information into the little red boxes. Okay, so now I put all the information into the red boxes. So if we uh, go through the document together, um, you would put the date when you fill this document, and then you would put the name of your principal and where your principal works. Um, DocuSign generates your name here. You would simply have to add um, the city town where you work or your city. And then you would put the duration of your articles. The second page of the document is for you to read carefully, which is all uh, the information about your role as a student at law and then the role um, as principal. The third page, uh, you would put the information when the articles commence. And then this is where you will have to sign. So you will simply have to uh, click sign and then um, you would, when is the first time that you, um, you open DocuSign, you will have to accept your signature and then you would simply have to adopt. And don't forget to check the box here. So I know it says optional, uh, but you will have to check the box. Once again, DocuSign generates uh, the date when you open the document. So that's it. So this is uh, when you, um, when you have done your, your part, you have completed the document. So you can um, click finish. Within a few minutes after you click on finish, you should receive an email like this from DocuSign that has enclosed your final version of um, your articles of clerkship. Um, so you should have uh, your version like this. Uh, we strongly invite you to save this version into your personal files if anything happens. And as I said, um, your, done, your, your role as a student when it comes to articles of clerkship is done at this point. So the LSN administrator will also receive this version of your document and we transfer it to your principal. Your principal will then um, sign the document 
and check the box and send it back to uh, the LSN administrator. Once again, out through the third party platform DocuSign. And when the LSN administrator receives the final version signed both by you and your principal, they will upload it and save it in your online application. Okay, so we now arrive at the last step of the admission process in order to become a student at law in Nunavut. So the last step is pretty straightforward. It is to complete and sign the student articling plan. So once again, you will find the template of the student articling plan under required documents. So if we just look back here of the documents, um, you will have um, signed and completed the consent form as the very first step of the admission process. You will have um, uploaded the copy um, of your degree or your transcript and the two letters of good character as part of your online application. You will have um, completed and signed articles of clerkship through the third party um, platform that is DocuSign. So we now arrive at the student article and plan. For those two documents, like I said, for um, in the online application, some of you will not have to complete those. So this is when you have to amend your articles along the way. You can always come back to this part, download the template, and you can upload um, the documents into your um, online application. We now arrive at the final document, which is the student articling plan. You can download the template here. Your role in the student articling plan is pretty simple. So at first, you only have to complete part A, which is your personal information. Once you have completed part A, send the document to your principal who will complete the rest. So your principal will um, complete part B and part C. Part C concerns your articles. Once they have completed parts B and C, your principal will assign the document date and then check the box. Once they have completed all of this, they will send you the updated version of the articling plan to your email address. So you will be able to review all the information your principal included. And once you have reviewed and you agree with the information, you can sign, date the document, and finally check the box. Um, once you and your principal have signed the document, you can uh, send the, the final version to the LSN administrator. The LSN administrator will review the document and upload the final version into your online application. And we are done. So we have now covered the whole admission process for you to become a student at law in Nunavut. So as I said at the beginning, I know that the process can be quite overwhelming. So um, please don't ever hesitate to email us if we can help you in any way. Once again, email us at administrator at lawsociety.nu.ca. And we wish you the best of luck for your articles.